Hey there folks, we've got a new series here starting this week and we're going to be looking at some contemporary fiddle tunes, uh, some of the best that's around and we've got a special treat this week with uh, my friend and bandmate Gus Trich joining me. Uh, we're going to play his tune which is uh, a really popular tune in the old time sort of scene these days. It's called The Shoemaker. When we were traveling around in the UK earlier this year, uh, lots of people were requesting this tune from Gus. So um, I am stoked to have learnt it and uh, had a little jam with Gus on it and you'll get to see that. You'll also get to see Gus playing it uh, on the fiddle himself so you can kind of get an idea of how he plays it, which is uh, a bit of fun in this video. So um, yeah, let's get in there and learn the Shoemaker. Uh, first of all, you can hear our jam. Uh, so here it is. Alright, before we get started, as usual, if you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, that'd be great. And check out my Patreon page for tons more lessons, transcriptions, and other exclusive content. For just the price of a coffee a month, uh, you can gain access to all sorts of stuff and you can pay forward for 
uh, the, the content in this video. So thanks so much for your support. All right, let's slow this one down. Uh, I'm going to play the shoemaker now just at a nice slower tempo so you can kind of hear the details. Here we go. break down those parts. First of all, we'll have a look at the A part here. So we're in uh, cross A here. So I have my five string fiddle, got my low C tuned down to a low A, so even lower. Got my G and D string tuned up a tone to A and E, and then we have our A and E strings where they normally are. So that's our cross A. We're gonna start with our first finger on the D string. And the chord that it starts on is actually the minor chord, so F sharp minor. It's kind of fun to start out a A major fiddle tune on the minor, the relative minor. So um, that's the first little thing that I think is quite cool about this, this fiddle tune. Um, so starting with our first finger on the D string, what is now an E, but we'll still call it the D string. So it goes like this, the A part. That's our A part. We'll break down those phrases. First phrase. All right, so we're starting and ending first finger on the D string. What were the first and second fingers there on the left hand? Okay, second phrase. So we're going up to the third finger here, which is that unison with the open A string now. So this is kind of where we resolve it to the A chord. Before we head back to uh, our third phrase, which is the same as the first phrase, as kind of our common structure. So um, that's our third phrase there, same as the first phrase. And then our fourth phrase here, our ending phrase. Right, so we're actually heading to the five chord, the E chord, second finger down on the D string. Um, and you can kind of like create that E chord by having your first finger on the A string, second finger on the D string there. Finishing on the open, and then we go back for the repeat of the A. So that's those are all the phrases of the A part. Let's put them together one time here. One, two, here we go. Hey. 
So we're heading into the B part here. B part goes like this. Alright, so the B part <clears throat> Alright, so the B part here has three phrases, um, which kind of makes it a little lopsided, uh, but that's also something that makes uh, this part kind of stand out. So the second part, um, we're starting on the minor chord again. The melody note is second finger on the A string here. So First and second phrases are exactly the same this time. Um, just once through that phrase, second finger. And then we repeat it. Then we're going to head up onto the E string and sort of do a variation on that phrase, so... And that phrase only happens once, and then we move on to that third part. So again, that third phrase... Okay, and then we get into the third part. Third part is where it kind of really resolves into the A major uh, sound, right from the top of the, the section. Okay, uh, let's break down the phrases there. There's two separate endings this time. We've got like a first time ending and a second time ending. So starting the second finger on the A string, where sort of we can add any sort of um, combination of open strings to get that A major kind of ringing through. So. first phrase. Okay, second phrase. And our first ending here, which is kind of a reprise of the phrase from the A part, which is something that I really like is that we kind of bring back the A part for a little um, sneak, uh, sneak attack. <laughs> uh, all of a sudden we're back in the A part. Uh, that that is like the opening phrase of the tune. So we stick that at the end of our our C part, our third part here, um, which I think is quite cool. Then we're going back for the repeat. That's all the same as the first time through. Uh, the C part, and then our second ending here to kind of resolve it all. That kind of takes us to A. And then we're 
then when we're repeating the tune, or, and that's gonna that's gonna be our little turnaround that takes us back to uh, the top of the tune. So that hopefully um, has explained uh, the tune and broken down the tune uh, into some smaller pieces, so you can kind of get it all together there. Um, there's a lot of use of that kind of flutter bow technique, um, which is uh, sort of that Judy Hyman, Ithaca um, sound that's going on there. Uh, Gus is very influenced by that, so uh, there's a lot of that kind of bowing, I think, that makes sense. Um, lots of separates, but with that particular kind of downbeat uh, groove on the third beat. So one and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And kind of swung. The Shoemaker. Uh, to end out today, let's have a listen to Gus playing uh, on the fill, and you can kind of pick up some of his nuances uh, with the tune. Uh, I'm sure he plays it slightly differently to how I've picked it up from him as well. So uh, have a listen, and thanks for tuning in, um, and we'll see you next time.